Hey everybody, De really here. Thank you so much for joining me for another episode of Nor 9 Var Commons. And we are still on Ron and Nanami's path. And uh, Ron has now officially left the group and gone to join the bad guys. So he has officially been revealed as the traitor to everybody. And we have uh, talked to the world and everybody knows what the real deal is now at this point. And, uh, let's see, Ron stole Koharu's firepower, so we're at a loss as to how to deal with this. Our only hope is the Water Esper, and you know what the deal with that is. So, let's see how things work out. You can just sit back, relax, and let me read you a story. I wonder if that man knew that this was going to happen. I can't help but wonder if that's the reason he said those words to me. He asked me to erase his memories. He said that it was the correct way to use my power. It feels as though he was telling me to decide the outcome of this moment as well. Nanami, you are going to get sick if you just stay out in the breeze. Yeah. Please, just don't hurt anyone anymore. Just stop doing bad things. Please. I like these hands. I like these kind and gentle hands. Please don't dirty them anymore. You're such a stupid girl. Ron, where'd you go? Oh, there you are. Hey, Ron. Keep what we did just now secret from Natsuiko, alright? If he knows we went to the island by ourselves, he'd fill us all full of bullets. Oh, I know, I know. You two, where have you been this whole time? Oh, well, um, we went into town for a bit. We went to the island. You just said... <laughs> Wait, Ron! You went to the island. What were you thinking? Hmm, I wonder. Ugh. <sighs> R Ron, uh, um, so, as you can clearly see, Natsuiko, Ron wasn't doing anything sneaky or anything. Fine, I guess I'll hear your final excuse. Uh, he pulled the gun out! I knew this was going to happen. Please, j just calm down. You see, Ron was on that ship the entire time. The only reason we're in this position now is because of him. Surely you can, can forgive him for having a little fun, right? If he'd just killed that Kuga girl, all of the espers would be dead by now. But Ron's in a dangerous situation too, right? He's gotta stay with a girl that can erase all his memories. Then he should have killed her too. All our problems would be solved. I mean, even though this is Ron we're talking about, surely it wouldn't have been that easy. You were right. I could have killed them all that easily. <laughs> Ron, you are not helping things. Damn it, Ron. I'm trying to back you up, but you're just ruining everything I say. Don't tell me that you actually fell in love with her or something. I'll give you what you asked for. I'm going to repay you for the eye that you gave me. I'll say this. That replacement eye was made in exchange for the deaths of the espers. And to prevent that damn reset from happening. Oh, I'm aware of that. We're taking this road again? It's so bright, it's so tough to walk. What happened to Sorata? He's with Mikoto and Sakuya. Apparently Ion told him to stay there. Ion, eh? Speaking of Sorata, he went out somewhere last night. It appears that he and Ion were talking. Hmm? I can't imagine what he would talk about with that little girl. If that's even what I should be calling her. Maybe she actually believes that Sorata is from a different time period. None of us thought he was telling the truth, but if Ion the world believes it, then it's probably true. Koharu, are you okay? Nanami! I'm sorry, I did something terrible! Don't cry, Koharu. This wasn't your fault. You did nothing wrong. It's okay. I'll do something about it. I... I made a decision. Decision? About what? 
Are Ion security measures working all right? Someone snuck in last night. There are no weapons on the island. The only form of protection we have here is the barrier that surrounds it. But the barrier wasn't very useful, as Ron waltzing past it shows. If we were talking about a normal human, they wouldn't be able to enter the island, much less find it. But the raiders were up against our scientists. They probably found a way to unlock the barrier. We're basically riddled with vulnerabilities. We're almost at our breaking point here. Ion and even the island, for that matter. Speaking of which, she said something a long time ago. Something about only humans being able to destroy her. Well, that's obvious. The only thing that could hope to destroy her would be humans. It's not like there's another species out there that would pose a threat, right? The fact that you're not instantly denying that makes me worry. Oh, oh I'm sorry. Yes, you're right. The only ones that could destroy Ion would be humans. Which is why it's such an odd thing for Ion to say. It's an obvious statement. But there aren't any weapons in this era that can pierce Ion's unique armor. Even with the guns that the raiders have, it'd be impossible. Well, if that's the case, then let's just focus on our safety for now. That's a good idea. We never figured out who the Water Esper was, so how are we going to deal with their guns and the power of fire? Sorry I'm late. Have you come to destroy Ion? Unfortunately, no. Over the past decade, I have developed all sorts of weapons and I haven't found one that can destroy Ion. Unfortunately for you, however, I realize that killing all the espers is a great workaround. <laughs> Wait, we haven't even decided if we wanted to go through with the reset or not. I don't care about your little decisions. No matter what, the powers you espers have are dangerous. If he gets a hold of them, we're going to have a bigger problem than the reset. He? Fortunately, the Kuga girl's not here. That'll make things easier. I'll kill you all first. Natsuko, put your gun down. What? What are you going on about, Ron? There's no need to kill them anymore, right? Motoboshi slowly placed his hand on Natsuko's gun and lowered it. Well, you just need to destroy that machine, right? This fire... <gasps> so, this girl is a weapon that nobody can destroy, right? I wonder what's stronger, her or the fire that's supposed to destroy all the civilization? Sorry. There's no need to apologize. If I was created by humans, it is only fitting that I be destroyed by humans. I uh, see. Oh, I'm glad to hear that. Ion! Ron, why do you have the power of fire? Well, uh, well nobody can perform a reset. Well, if I don't kill the Espers, then our contract is still broken, right? So, I'll just get rid of this, too. Motoboshi touched his right eye. A purple light shone between his fingers. Ugh. It was just an instant. He never looked at me until now, but at that moment, he reflected my appearance off his purple eyes. I regret this, but only because you're here. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> Motoboshi... Motoboshi removed his artificial eye and tossed it into the sea of flames. This makes us even. I owe you nothing now. You... Natsuiko, it's dangerous here. We should get out of here. Hey, underling. You take care of the rest. This is going to be a real pain in the butt for me, you know. Run. Well then. <laughs> Ion disappeared! Did she die? I... Uh, Ion! Uh, uh. Uh, it's water, but where's it coming from? 
Senri, you're the water esper? Senri! Stop, you're gonna burst a blood vessel. Help him, Makito. This place isn't going to hold for much longer. We need to get out of here. I think we're far enough away to be safe. Masa, well, there are people that live on the island too, right? If we can't stop this fire, the whole thing is going to burn up. We've got to call for help. Yeah, Itsuki, Heishi, come with me. Y yeah I knew it. I couldn't do it. I couldn't help that person. I'm no use to anyone. Senri, the result doesn't matter. What you did back there was commendable. I'm proud of you for showing courage and daring to battle such a huge blaze. Kageru! Is this what you wanted? Yeah. Nanami, where are you going? Nanami? No, don't! Koharu. You shouldn't! You shouldn't go! Koharu. He's waiting for me. Nanami! I'm the only one who can end this. That's what he wants too. For this to end. Does he want his memories erased still? Look, don't hesitate to use your powers for the right thing. Don't think about what's going to happen to the bad guys. You should walk your own path. Hey. I made up my mind. Is that so? That's good. I think... I think I've decided that I hate you. Oh, that's a shame, because I like you. That's a problem for me. You're still debating. No. Your hands are trembling. I don't know anything about your past. I don't know where you were born and raised. I don't know your parents' names. I don't know anything about you. You don't have to know. Is any of that really important? If I erased it, then it'll never be known again. That's okay. I don't need the past. If you don't do it now, then I'm going to kill everyone with this power. But if she takes his memories away, then couldn't his fire possibly be a problem? You're the worst. Oh, I'm pushing you. This is your final chance to stop me and save everyone. Final. He's just doing what he wants until the end. He's willing to stomp on my heart and kill everyone so that he gets his own wish. He is, and always will be, the worst. I will be accepting that kind of person. I would be granting their wishes. I'll use my powers to protect people. I'm full of doubts. Is this truly the right choice, the only choice, or was there another path to take? If someone smarter were in my position, maybe they could have found a better solution. I struggled and lost myself many times, even on my way here. I thought I should just turn around and even stopped in my tracks. But no matter what other answers are out there, this is the decision that I've made. I'll spend the rest of my life dealing with it. What? Did she stab him with a kunai? Oh, shoot. Oh, I'm sorry to make you do this. Do you really hate me now? I do. <laughs> this is really what you want me to do. Yeah. I can finally just choose you. I will come to love you once more. Do you not want to live? Or do you not want to die? Let's answer that question again. 
I don't want to die. I don't want to live. I... I want to live on with you. Let's start over, the two of us. And maybe this time, I can love you from beginning to end. Did she just erase both their memories? Didn't she say she couldn't erase her own memory before? Ugh, why is the Earth so freaking vast? I want to move. I want to live in a world that's just eight to Tommy that's long. <laughs> I didn't say anything yet. Why do you look so scared already? It's b because you didn't say anything yet. Usually you'd say welcome or greet me in some way. Welcome. They told me to check up on you guys and see how you're doing. Why would they send Senri to do that? Especially alone. Can I come in for a little bit? If not, then I'll just leave. I don't want to intrude. I didn't say you were intruding. Come in. What is this liquid? It's just water. Ew, great, then I'll have some. Is everybody still angry? Yes, Otomaru and I are the only ones who don't care about what happened. It seems like Otomaru is always talking to you, but doesn't it get a little annoying? A bit. I'll let him know then. Is everyone doing well? Yes, everything's pretty much the same. They're all worried about you though. Here's some snacks from Shukuri. From Shukuri. Is there anything weird in it? <laughs> Shukuri never puts anything weird in his cooking. Unlike, say, you or Otomaru. Er, I'm just kidding. Don't look at me with that expressionless face. This is the same face I always make. Huh? Y yeah, I guess you're right. Oh yeah, Koharu and Kuga said they both wanted to see you. Well, it sounds like not everybody's still mad, then. I want to see them, too. They said that they didn't want to see Moroboshi, so they can't visit. Otomaru and Kagami both say they want to see you sometime, too. Kagami is especially worried about how you're handling certain things. Certain things? I'm not sure what he's talking about. Anyway, everybody says they're going to head somewhere close by, so they want you to join them. Okay, I understand. Everyone hates him. They have every right to, though. You may have heard about this from that loudmouth Otomaru the other day, but the Norn has been repaired. Oh yeah, apparently the name of the ship we were on is the Norn. We were never able to return our powers to Ion, so we decided that the next best thing would be to carry out her wishes. What do you mean? She wanted there to be peace in the world. So we espers will just use our powers to keep peace. Just like she intended us to. Will you come with us? I won't. I figured you'd say that, but they told me that I had to ask. Koharu and Kuga will probably ask you the same thing when they see you. Yeah. Are you going to go? Yeah, I will. I don't think it's a bad plan. A person who hated making the journey on board the ship as much as I did was now telling me that they won't mind returning to the ship. What's wrong? We're planning to go on a journey as well someday. A journey? He never remembers anyone's name. I thought it was because he didn't care about other people. But in actuality, it's because his eyesight was getting worse. He'll go blind soon. So we're going to go and have his friend make him an artificial eye. His friend? You mean the raider? Yes. Really? I don't know the outside world too well and I can't rely on him for anything, so our chances of finding him are slim. What makes you think Natsuiko would help him now? But I still plan on going. Then you should talk to Toya. He's also looking for him. Okay, thanks. Well then, my job here is done. I'll be heading out now. Won't you come see him? It's alright. He doesn't remember me, so seeing him is kind of pointless. You should have told me that he was here already. Ugh, so you're back on your feet already? Yeah. 
Uh, who is he? Was this guy living in this house too? Although he's lost his memories, there's really no practical difference as far as I can tell. He might be right. Well then, I'm going now. Okay, thanks for stopping by. You don't have to thank me. I was just checking in. I didn't do anything for you. No, you've given me courage. Oh yeah, speaking of which, they made me promise to ask you one last thing. What is it? Shirunoi, are you... Is he, is she what? Uh, who was that just now? A friend. Friend? What is that again? Oh, come on. A person that you get along with. So, like you and me? We are different. Uh, what was it again? I already told you the answer to this. Oh, I want to hear it again. We're lovers. Lovers? It's two people who love each other and stick together with one another. Love? Oh, what's that? You definitely remember that. Come on, please tell me. You're the one who told me that studying and reviewing things was very important, Nanami. We have this conversation every day. Nanami? Tell me. I wrap my arms around Motoboshi's back, his wide back. I open my arms as wide and embrace him. This is... love. Oh, I see. I understand now. Are you okay? Uh, I don't fully understand yet. <laughs> friends don't do this type of stuff? No, friends definitely do not. Then, I'm the only one. I'm the only one who gets to feel this warmth from your body like this. You're the only one. Nanami. I love you, Nanami. You don't have to say my name so much. I understand. Motoboshi has been making a habit of calling me by my name. He seemed to enjoy saying my name a lot. Well, you just seemed happier whenever I call you by your name. <laughs> I want to touch you a little longer. Shall we move to the bed? Don't say such weird things. It's still daytime. Oh, it'd be nice to be able to see everything. Pervert. Oh, that's mean. Plus, it's almost time to eat. I have to start cooking. Oh, help. Your cooking is terrible. <laughs> huh. I'll use the knife, so don't touch it. Oh, okay. What do you want to eat? Nanami. <laughs> something you can eat. You yeah, are something I can eat too, Nanami. Pervert. Then I'll make my specialty meat surprise with special herbs. Oh, I learned how to make meat and potato stew. How do you learn new recipes so quickly? Because my life depends on it. But the first thing I remembered was your name. Ron, I love you. Yeah, I love you too. Shirunoi, are you... are you happy now? Yes, I'm very happy. Perhaps due to food coma, he immediately laid his head on the table once we finished eating. Ron, you'll turn into a cow if you sleep after big meals. <laughs> I never heard that one. Uh, well, my hunger has been satisfied, so I need to move on to the next of my needs. But if you help me with my third priority need, I won't complain. Whether or not he has any memories, he hasn't changed. He's just a fleshy mass of desires. You should study to become a priest or a monk. <laughs> huh? 
Why? Never mind. I head into the kitchen to begin washing all the dishes and cleaning up after the meal. Almost immediately, I hear snoring noises. I walk to the front of our shelves, and I put my hands on the bottom drawer. This is only the second time I've touched this drawer since we started living in this house. The only other time was the day we moved in. I haven't opened it since. A heavy object falls into my hands. Why are the guns so heavy even though they are small enough to fit into even my hand? I figure I would just throw the gun away along with the rest of Ron's past but I changed my mind. Ron still has the power of fire. They know I erased all of Ron's memories, so they gave us some leeway, but they're watching us closely. The people I refer to are the scientists from the island who are trying to act as the world now. I've taken on responsibility now, because I was the one who erased Ron's memories, because I was the one who begged for his life. If he were to ever use his powers to hurt other people again, if I didn't erase the darkness in his heart, I have to take responsibility. That's why I kept this gun. We're living peacefully now. Ron makes happy and peaceful expressions more often than he did before. I'm constantly anxious, though, because I enjoy these happy days, and I don't want them to end. I hope the day I'm forced to pull the trigger never comes. That was my most heartfelt wish. Nanami, what are you doing over there? <laughs> I hurriedly hid the gun. I didn't want him to see it. His memories had been completely erased. His dark past should be gone for good. If his past was the roots of his wickedness, then I should have nothing to worry about. But if his behavior and his past were just an extension of the person he truly was, then all the atrociousness, sadism, desperation, and rage, then those will all gradually return. Then my actions and Ron's wishes were all for nothing. I worried that all of his terrible qualities would awaken if he saw the gun. He could see the gun and not change at all. I suppose that would indicate that he really had changed and that all those traits were gone. Even if I wouldn't be certain that everything would definitely be all right now, it would still give me a lot of relief. But now, I couldn't make that leap. I had struggled for a long time, trying to decide whether or not to show him the gun. Mm, what's wrong? Does your stomach hurt? No. Suddenly, something that Ron said to me long ago popped into my head. He said that since I'd been constantly hurt by people, I couldn't trust anyone. That's probably accurate. I always seem to find the negative angle and I'm always living in fear of the worst. But things are different now. I'm not the same as before. I'm using responsibility as an excuse, but I'm too afraid to trust Ron. It'll never work this way. I have to change too. I need to change to show that I believe in our future together. I picked up the gun that I had put away. Ron, I want you to see something. What? I handed him the gun. What is this? It's a terrible weapon used to hurt people. Oh. Ron, do you like it? Do you want it? Nope. Not really. Really? Yeah, if you want me to hold on to it, well, I guess I will, though. No, it's okay. So, it's totally unnecessary to you. I asked in order to confirm what he said, Ron smiled at me. You're right. I don't want to hold anything dangerous. I don't want to take a chance of you getting hurt. Thanks. A warm feeling fills my heart. I can finally just use you. The words he said were sincere. I think he who wanted his memories erased was the one who trusted himself the least out of everyone. He couldn't even imagine himself living in a peaceful, happy future. That's why he traded his memories for it. I have to believe in Ron, even if nobody else, including he himself, does. Even if it's only me, I have to. I embraced Ron. Maybe it's like you said. Maybe I should study to become a priest or monk. Why? 
That's not enough. You're by my side and you love me, but I can't help but want more. I love you so much that I might end up harming you. Yeah, you're right. You should. I kind of want to see you bald. <laughs> really? Uh, I'm just kidding. Don't take it seriously. In his current mental state, Ron is very susceptible to whatever I say. I have to be watchful of what I say to him. I doubt that it's not enough, though, because you're more special to me than anyone, and I love you more than anything else. You don't have to worry about anything. I see. Okay, then. Off to bed. However, logic, moderation, and patience are also very important. Why do you have to say such difficult things? They're not difficult things. They're all very obvious, necessary things. Fine. So, we'll wait until tonight, then. N night I I'll allow up to two kisses. Stupid. Why? Yeah, it's still a while until night. Let's go for a walk. Yeah. We're moving forward. Forward towards a bright future. Our feet are still dirty, and we're tracking dirt across the white road. But someday soon, we'll come to love the tracks that we made here today. That's what we're moving towards. That's the future that we're working for. Well, darn it. Okay. Well, oh, okay. We did, I did get a trophy, so I guess that was his good end. Okay, that's good. For a second there, it didn't, get, and it didn't think I got a trophy, so I didn't think that was ending. <laughs> Alright, well, I guess that will have to be the end of this video, though it might be a bit short. And in the next video, the next video will be his bad ending. Ron's route seemed to be pretty short if if uh, his alternate route isn't very long. Well, well, we'll see what happens in the next episode. So, I hope to see you in some of my other videos. And I'd be so grateful for any likes, comments, subscriptions, or shares with your friends to show some support. Thank you so much for joining me, and I wish you all health, happiness, and safety. They're really signing out. Bye-bye, everybody.